All right, see what's going on with y'all. Um, Damon, trading has really made me serious about this. <laughs> Is it more beneficial to have a business entity trading than just trading regularly? You can do either or. Um, You, you, you're talking about the structure of the account registration as far as whether you should have your account registered in your business name or in, you know, just as an individual. I got you. Um, there are advantages, of course, having a business, as you probably are well aware. What's up, JR? Um, but you also have the same advantages just if it's you. Yeah, like, yeah, and I, and I knew that that's what you were getting at. You kind of have the same tax advantages even if it's just you as an individual. The difference mainly is in things as far as liability goes and like for whatever reason being sued or something like that having a business entity is always a better option because when you do that the the person can't sue you personally they can only sue the business so it has that type of layer of protection but as far as taxes go being self-employed being a sole proprietor you get very similar tax advantages that you, that you would get as a corporation LLC S Corp very similar yeah and you should you should definitely get um, some consulting on it I, I recommend that Shaquem what's good Walker what's good yeah I, um, the anytime you have a business entity it has more to do with how you just have things structured period what's up Stacy um I think is when it comes to trading you're fine either way whether it's you as an individual or whether you're doing it as a business entity as far as taxes go um and things of that nature you get mad but you get mad tax advantages um, being self-employed mad tax advantages like you know and you can you when you get the consultation you you'll you'll hear them tell you that they're gonna tell you the same thing I'm telling you get you it's mad tax advantages regardless of how you have it set up whether you're a sole proprietor and you just doing um self-employment or whether you have an actual entity either or I would say that if you down the road see yourself like wanting to hire somebody you know things like that it would make sense to have your thing structured as a business entity if it's just gonna be you the one man band you're good as a sole proprietor you know you don't need to do all of that and you still will benefit from tax advantages because of the way that you are generating income when you trade and you generate income that way um, it's business income. When you get a W, not a W. I always keep calling it that. What's what's the what's the thing called that we get in February? Why do I always do this? The form that we get. What the hell is that thing called? Why can't I think of the, of the thing of the, of the name of the form? Like my mind's blank right now. What the hell? <laughs> I know one of y'all gonna no, not W two. The thing we get from Nadex. Why can't I think of the name of the form? What's the form that we get? Thank you, Jesus. Ten ninety nine. Thank you. 
Yo, I was racking my head trying to remember what the hell. <laughs> Yeah, so any any time that you're getting a 1099 and you generate income that way. You good, man. Yep, you good. You are good to go. Um, uh, let's see who came on. What's up, Winston? What's up, RJ? Damon says, I'm starting to see that, and I'm seeing so many benefits of having one versus not having one. It's crazy. Like, the capital you can get helps you dedicate more time to your craft. Right. Indeed. Yep. Matthew, what up? <clears throat> yeah, and and you know when um when people really start taking trading seriously, and you actually look at like <laughs> what you really able to do financially and otherwise it'll blow your mind like all of the stuff that you can do and i'm not just talking about from the perspective of trading i'm talking about like how you get tax advantages all type of shit all type of stuff that you qualify for Isaac, what's happening? Yep. Trading is a trading is a remarkable business to be in. And that's why it would behoove people when they, you know, start to get into trading and to come into this world that they really learn skill. I remember when I first started doing training and I used, to, I used to talk about that all the time. I used to say, listen, if you don't have no skill in the market, you're going to lose. And um, j just that, that phrase used to really piss a lot of people off. They used to be like, what? Because they felt like, what do you mean skill? Like, what are you talking about? One, they didn't agree. Two, they felt like having a strategy and indicators and all of that shit was enough for them to be able to win. And my thing always was, well, if you're winning, then why is it that you're always in search of a new strategy? I didn't understand that. So I used to call people on it. And it's not like I was there trying to instigate or, or cause trouble. I just would ask the question in general through my content. You know, like when I would do content and, and make videos, I used to just be asking these questions while I was trading. I used to be like, you know, um, if, if you don't actually have market skill, what is it that you're actually doing? Like, you, if you're getting signals, what's happening when the person that's giving you the signals is wrong? Or what if something happens to them? Like, let's assume you're getting good signals and then out of nowhere, your signal provider is gone. It's like, well, what happened to your to your business? You don't really have a business because you don't possess this. You don't own the skill. If that if that is the case, if you did happen to find somebody that gave you great signals, you don't own the skill that is generating those signals. Those signals. So you're not in business. You see what I'm saying? Versus. You actually possessing the skill, you own the skill. Now you're in business. Now you're in business. 
And that's why what we do on Team Alliance is remarkable because it's literally giving you the actual ownership of what you need to be in business as a, as a trader. And then I'm like, all right, so that's one. Two, if you need, if you, if you consider this to be a business for you, as a business, don't you want your business to be profitable? I would, I would hope so. You don't want your business to be in the red, right? So if that's the case, then that means that you need to continuously be improving and elevating your actual skill. Whatever the thing that you own that generates income is your skill. That's what you own. You own the rights <laughs> to your skill. You should be continuously elevating that skill, fine tuning it improving it you see what i'm saying and i and i realized that this was an ongoing thing and that's the way that i positioned myself and that's why it transcended into the training that's why the training is set up the same way the training literally is set up exactly how i do things that's how training is set up the same exact way that i do shit and you know, I'm able to consistently be profitable consistently. And it's like, well, how, how are you doing that? That's where your skill comes in. That's why it, it's better for you to take the time to develop skill than it is to try to jump in and, and just start trading without it. You mess around and try to trade without it. You're going to run into problems and you're going to run into some serious problems because you're going to be deceived one and two, you're going to be putting money on it. And next thing you know, you ain't going to have no money left. You're going to run out of money because you're going to lose. So it, it, it's interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> RJ said his right ear is on Mark Live. Left ear on video 421. Ooh, that's hard. That's subconscious training right there. Damn. You got one in each ear. I never did that before. I, I think I'm gonna try that though. Um, Damon, signals aren't good for long-term success because a signal provider can have things happen out of the blue. Exactly. And then you don't know what's behind their signals in the first place. You don't know how they're generating the signals. Like, you, like if you can't identify what they're doing to produce the signals, you can't even verify whether it's a good signal or not. You don't know what you're getting into at all. All you have to go off of is whatever their win rate is. And they're only basing their win rate on whatever the strategy is that they're using at the time. Once that strategy stops working, then what happens? Then, oh, well, I, you know, I'm gonna look into developing a new strategy and the new strategy costs this much. And they'll keep you in that loop where now, oh, well, I got a new strategy coming. Get the new one. Come on, man. And mind you, you still don't know nothing about what, what they're doing. You still don't know what they're doing. So I don't, you know, I never liked the idea that. I never liked the idea of being out of control. When you relying on that, you are not in control at all on any level. At all. Yep. Bensky, what's happening? What's up, Mick? <laughs> yeah, he said that. <laughs> this is what they'll say. Sorry, guys. Yep. I'm I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> yep. And then you over there trying to figure out how not to take the the losing signals. It's like how are you gonna do that? You literally gonna spend your time trying to figure out what signal might lose. So that you avoid that? Come on, man. It's too. It's just too much. It's, it's like nonsense. Yep. Damon said they're good because they have your monthly payment. Exactly. Exactly. And they don't care about whether you stick around or not. Because their thing is that they know that people are always going to be in search of signals. So because of that, they're always going to have that aspect of it running. They don't have to give you quality anything. They don't care. They're like, hey, 
I'm doing better than you. At least, if at least over here you'll win some trades. You probably losing all your trades. They know. They know. It's like anybody that's doing that really knows that people are not winning, and they're kind of feeding into that part of it a little bit because they know if you're not winning, you're looking for a way to win some trades. People have said this to me, like Mark. You know, if I could just win at least 70% of my trades And I'm like, I'm looking at them like, what? 70%? If you can win 70% And I, you know, and that's kind of, I think Another thing that led to me Going even more hard with my own skill When I, when I started to actually listen to how people are talking I'm like, yo, you bugging I ain't trying to win 70% of the trades. I'm trying to win everything. I don't like losing. I don't want to lose nothing. And my thing was, well, my first priority got to be to figure out how to stop losing, period. I, I didn't even care about the winning part yet. My thing was, I need to figure out how the hell to stop losing first. Once I do that, I got it. Because now I know exactly what not to do ever. And I'm never gonna do none of the shit that's gonna lead to losing. And then that opened up the doors. Like that, from that point on, it just opened up and it became, it almost became like magic. Like, <laughs> when I, I, like I'm thinking back now. And right now I'm just thinking about Nadex because I did the same thing previously in Forex too. In Forex, I was using market behavior, I was using price action. I wasn't, Using a bunch of indicators I didn't need them Once I figured out how to just win trades And look at how the market moves To you know to figure out Where the market is going Based on what it is doing now That's, That was always my thing And that works awesome on Nadex Because Nadex we, we dealing with binaries So you don't even gotta be right You know About what it's going to do Like over a longer period of time all you got to do is be right about what it's doing right now. That's it. And as long as you know what it's doing right now, you know when to stay out. And then ultimately, you know when to put yourself in position to take a trade. Because the market going to give you a trade. I'm like, yo, this shit is, is, is easy. It is easy. But it's only easy because it was made easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I made it easy. I didn't complicate that shit at all. Don was good. Jay Carly. <laughs> she said that one dude had to send apology emails out. <laughs> Wow. So basically, I can sell signals and strategies. Hmm. She said, I can even get them 70%. I'm telling you, that, that's what they be doing, man. <laughs> Matthew said, I like moving in silence. Way too much for that. <laughs> Word. That's a lot right there. Trying to keep up with all of that. Uh uh. Nope, that is, that's too much. Yeah, but it's 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 been very very interesting. Like just just as I think back, and I'm like just remembering like how when training first started out, the type of stuff I was doing. You know, um, using MT4. Like I just think back to all of that. It's just like funny to me. I'm like, damn, because you you gotta go through to get through. So it's kind of like you don't even know where you're going to end up at ultimately, but you just know that what you're doing works. So because what you're doing works, you just rinse and repeat it, but we're also in an evolutionary growth 
So it's not like it just remains in that one zone where you're at right now. It 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 it's like a butterfly. You know, when it's a cocoon, it look crazy. When it becomes a butterfly, you it don't look nothing like it did when it was a cocoon. You know what I'm saying? The cocoon, the worm comes out the cocoon. It, wait, does it? Whatever. However, the, the the cocoon becomes a butterfly. You you understand what I'm saying? You don't you don't remember or recognize the cocoon. You wouldn't know that that, that cocoon produced that butterfly when you look at it. That's how much elevation goes on. That's how, you know, like now, when I look at how everything is now, and then I go back and look, I'll be like, damn. Came a long way, bro. <laughs> like the elevation has been crazy. Crazy. Um, damn, said, if you send a bad signal, that can be dangerous. Real talk, people will try to find you. <laughs> what? And, man, that's crazy that you even say that because it goes to show you, too, the psychology of people. People, it, 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 it's, it's like someone saying, ah, right, you're going to give me a way to win? You guaranteeing I'm going to win this trade? And the reason that they're asking that is because they want to be able to max out the trade. You know what I'm saying? You Like, some people are willing to deposit enough in their account to trade 50 contracts. They want the signal to be solid so that they can trade 50 contracts with the signal. This is their thinking. And it's like, yo, you're bugging out, man. You're really bugging because you want to do that. And what happens is they'll do that and they, maybe they win two trades, three trades, right? With 50 contracts And then the loss the, the L comes Then they lose And then when they lose They lose everything And it's like Oh shit But they don't put The logical thinking Anywhere near with the greed Their greed is up here And their logical thinking Is not even in the picture They're not thinking logically at all they thinking about Give me your signals, right? Let me use your, your signals. And I'm going to take this money and flip it. That's what they're thinking. And it's just, it's crazy. And that's why somebody would react like that. Just like what you said. Somebody come looking for you because you gave them, you gave them a bad signal. And it's like, I ain't give you a bad signal, bro. I gave you a signal and it's up to you to how you want to use it. They don't want to hear that shit. You don't want to hear that when you just you just made a deposit two days ago and that shit is gone today. It's crazy. And that's that's just more stupidity. Like that's stupid too. That is stupid. Damon said people don't understand there are people that put their whole account on the line even when you gave your disclaimer and they get extremely pissed, right? That they lost. I would never do sick. Exactly. I didn't even read this and that and you just said what I just said. <laughs> J. Carr said, I feel like all those S words oh are another word, scam, and that one dude is a scam for show. It's funny they all start with S, right? Signals, strategies. Um, RJ said, you know, I've looked at a lot of people sharing the process of how to trade, but they rarely show themselves winning consistently. Uh, the trading with Mark gives you the winner winner. Wait, the WWWH. Oh, the what, when, where, why, how. I was about to say, what the hell is that? Wrestling? <laughs> Got you. The what, where, when, why, and how. Yes. Absolutely. It's because it's it's the it's the real process. That's how it's like you can easily verify if somebody is doing something or not by duplicating what they're doing. But if you don't know what they're doing, you can't duplicate it. 
How the hell are you going to duplicate the process if you don't even know what the process is? So what we do, not only can you duplicate the process, but you understand the why of the process. It's like, all right, why are we not trading? Why we ain't take no trades? Okay, we understand that. Boom, we took a trade. Why did, why did we take that trade? We understand that. Now we're getting somewhere because now we're getting into understanding why we're winning. The same way that you would understand why you lost. You know that if you lost, it's because you deviated from the winning process. It's, it's no other reason. It ain't got nothing to do with the market. Oh, I lost because the market decided to do something crazy. Nope. The market was already doing crazy shit beforehand. Before you took that trade, you just didn't spot it. And if you didn't spot it, that means that you need more observation and study in front of the market so that you become more aware of what the market is showing you. And you're able to recognize when the market is showing you shit and telling you to stay the hell out. Like, that's why I call it interpretation, because it's like a language. That's exactly what it's like. The car said, make me, make me win or I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> Yo, that's real talk, though. I, I know that that's what people be doing, though. You, you right. You are right about that. Hello. Yup, you ain't lying. <laughs> he said, with that, you get the story or info you need to proceed. Right. Um, Jay Carly, thank God I saw your mutton chops. <laughs> Before I even knew what a signal was. Woo, thank you, Spike. Yo, you're crazy. You're funny with that button chop shit. <laughs> that is what it was, though. I remember when somebody told me that that's what it was. I was like, I, I just like to cut my beard like that. They was like, nah, those are mutton chops. I'm like, all right. <laughs> that's funny. Mick said, lose strategy signals. What in the world have I walked into? <laughs> Oh snap Damon said get the skill So you won't think about having to kill Ooh You know I'm taking that Thank you Damon That's hard oh, Get the skill so you won't think about having to kill That's a video right there. That's a whole video, I think. Hold up. Damn. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> Damn. All right, I got that. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Snap, make said account managers. Stupid shit. They still be hitting your, your your email and all of that hard, right? I see them dudes all the time. I'm like, yo, y'all ain't give it up yet? Damn. They be like, Mr. Mr. Johnson. He's he he helped me to stop losing. Matter of fact, look. They be flooding my YouTube too. They they stay in the comments. Spamming on shit Them shit is so stupid And I'm like yo The only thing stupider than that Is is the person ultimately That actually sends money to these people I'm like Somebody gotta be sending the money For them to still be doing that They wouldn't keep doing it If, 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 if it wasn't working If everybody stopped sending the money They'll stop People be sending the money man People be really sending the money. And I'm like, yo, what's wrong with y'all? 
What is wrong with y'all? I'm checking now. I bet you that there's one in there. Look, I got two in there. And I deleted shit. This, look, this type of shit they be saying. I've been seeing people posting good comment, comments about Mr. Turnbull. What? Who the hell is Mr. Turnbull? His name might as well be Mr. Bojangles or some shit. She said, I never knew his strategy is as good as this. He changed the life of so many traders today, and I pray that he should keep on doing this. Kindly contact him with this email address. It's never too late to profit. Really? Somebody's going to respond to that. And then this other one, they got a WhatsApp number. They got a phone number. Mrs. Rachel Monique. I would not recommend you any system other than this great software. She has really changed my life while trading for me. Come on, man. Look, it, it got to be working for them because they stay, they go hard. I be deleting them shits every day. <laughs> every day I delete them joints. And it was good. Because I'm had the same profile picture when I was 60. <laughs> Recently, I thought about changing it. I think I'm going to keep it, though. I think I'm going to keep it up. Because I don't know where the original picture's at. So I'm going to keep it there. Because if I change it, then I'll lose the picture. Oh, no, I could download it, though. But no, nah, I think I'm going to keep it. Just because just you said that, I think I'll keep it up there. <laughs> She said, I'm a friend of hacker to find some of the people in your comments and on your voicemail. Oh, oh my God. I can't even let, I literally can't even let you hear some of the voicemail messages. Because you be on the plane. Jay Carly's crazy. Jay Carly would be on the plane, for real. <laughs> she said, they probably friends with that couple, scamming with the, the Cash App. <laughs> Oh snap! You right. <laughs> yeah, and the and the and the voicemail, the voicemail thugs, they make sure that they call from a block number. They don't put their area code or nothing out there. They real, they real gangster with they shit. They call from a block number. All type of shit. I know, I know, it had you tight. Stacy said, tell him, my mama told me I was born at night, but not last night. Exactly. <laughs> and said, keeping TA in my sights and my ears all day, man. All day long. Yep. Yeah, but people are something else, man. People are something else. I'm like, if you would spend more of your time actually, you know, focusing on some shit that actually works, you spend less time worrying about what the hell I'm doing. Like, you mad at me because I figured some shit out and you didn't. That's why they be mad most of the time. And they really be mad. Like, they be having like a personal issue. I'm like, you don't even know me. They be mad, man. But I I know what that's about too. It's because they keep seeing me too. They they keep seeing the, the on um, the videos and the content. And I don't let up with that shit. So yeah, they get mad. They see they see shit everywhere. They like damn, Twitter, this dude is on Instagram, YouTube, <laughs> Facebook. I just downloaded TikTok. I don't even know what TikTok is, but I got I, I just downloaded the app yesterday. I don't even know what the shit is. Snapchat. I don't even know what this shit is. I don't even know what people are doing with it. All I know is that people be at. So that's it. Yeah, definitely haters, definitely. They call it said piss me off because they talking shit to their blessing. 
they man they so they be far away from blessed at all like they they cursed they don't they don't put a curse on themselves they even said you know you're doing something right right i would be i would be worried if i didn't have people that's like that trying to get at me Yep. Damon said they mad because you still getting them winning winning chicken sandwich dinners and they're fresh out. <laughs> he said they like Popeyes. They like the chicken sandwich, right? Sold out. <laughs> oh, did you did y'all try that sandwich? I still haven't tried it. I still ain't tried that chicken sandwich, man. I just eat regular chicken from Popeyes. I, don't, I ain't mess with the chicken sandwich. And what is it? It's a spicy chicken sandwich? Is that what it is? I think it's a spicy chicken sandwich. It, it, I think that's the one, right? The popular one? Oh, snap. What happened to my cord? Oh, it's right here. Oh snap, for real? She said they sold out nationwide. What? <laughs> yeah, David said, I have it. I'm Chick-fil-A because they don't run out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when I was when I was um down south last week, I had Chick-fil-A like three times. It was good too. I had the chicken sandwich with the Monterey Jack on it. Woo. Mm-mm-mm. That joint was banging. And I do like Chick-fil-A French fries better. I like I like their fries better than the 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 seasoned fries at Popeyes. They got better fries. J. Carr says someone showed a nasty video. They're making so many so fast. People are getting sick. Really? That sounds crazy. What's up, Mario? David said, whatever it is they put in something in it, there was a person in Houston that pulled out a gun because they were out? What? Yo. That is insanity. He pulled out because they ran out of the chicken sandwich. Matthew said, nah, I already know what Popeye's tastes like. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about it, too. I'm like I'm good with the, the I'm good with the regular chicken. J. Carl, I went to Walmart, got some Hawaiian rolls, made my own damn chicken sandwich. <laughs> Yo, yeah, the, the the Hawaiian rolls, those are good. I know I know the ones you're talking about. They like dinner rolls. They in the in the pack, and they got the um they about that big. Well, they actually they, they got more than one size. They got the the small ones and they got the bigger ones. I know what you're talking about. You want them to join so put some butter on them? Lord Jesus, it's a far. And I said, I know, want to know what's really in it to be selling out like that. I don't, and it's like, it seemed like it came out of nowhere too. Like, like out of nowhere, everybody, like the chicken sandwich at Popeye's. Like, what's so, what, what can be so good about a chicken sandwich like that, that you got to be, like one and one and like that, nah, nah. Even I can have something that's delicious, and I don't want it every day. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what it is, I'm gonna want to switch up. But I guess I don't know. Maybe they put some. They put. They laced it with crack or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what S said. <laughs> he said, "Is there some coke in it?" <laughs> Stacy, you don't like Chick Fil A? She said it's gross. What? You must have went to a horrible Chick Fil A. They definitely got chemicals in all of that shit, though, without a doubt. Look, Walker says, Stacy, that's blasphemy. Now you got to go for <laughs> to Chick Fil A and confess. <laughs> Yeah, she said it's gross. I was like, what? 
Like we talking about the same Chick Fil A? <laughs> Damon said diabetes in the bag. <laughs> the Hawaiian rolls. I know, right? All that bread turning into sugar. Yeah, you gotta eat shit. You gotta eat shit in moderation anyway, though. Oh, they said Popeyes is fake news. Yeah, I haven't had it either. I, I ain't I ain't even eat it yet. I don't I don't think I want to now. Like I'm good. What's up, Jermaine? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I don't even want it. Stacy said she's going there on Sunday. <laughs> you go what you gonna do, Stacey? You gonna tell them about themselves? Oh, excuse me. He said type 2 diabetes in the bag. <laughs> yeah, people need to drink. People need to drink way more water, though. That's another thing, too. I, I don't think that people drink enough water. Like, period. There's some people that don't drink water. Like, they'll drink a beverage. They'll just drink beverages, but they don't drink water at all. You, you need water, man. Your body is 75% water. Walker said Popeye's sandwich was good, but not Akadam Fool Good. Oh, Akadam Fool Good. <laughs> so Walker, you had the you had the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Is it anywhere near Chick-fil-A, in your opinion? Let me see. He said, Stacy, get out of here, sinner. <laughs> David, yeah, he that I, and I just realized that when she said that. That's funny. Right. She gonna go when they not open. When they when they in church. <laughs> yep. That's funny. I just caught that too. <laughs> Yeah, crazy. Yeah, I'm getting me some I'm getting some steamed vegetables tonight. Some steamed veggies and some fish. And a and a and a gallon of water. <laughs> He said it's obviously injected with tasty chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> oh snap. All right, I'll see you Sunday, man. Yep. David said, I need to go vegan. It'll help with my trading. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I think vegan is a little overrated, though. I think it's a little overrated. I think you just need more balance in your, your overall diet. But I think vegan is a little overrated. Yeah, definitely. Mix it. I drink Nutra Beats, best thing ever. Nutra Beats is that a is that a brand? Is it is it like a drink that you can buy? It's obviously Beats from the name, but it sounds like something that's like in a can. Nutra Beats. That nowadays they're making a lot more like organic, that you know. Juices and shit like that Like in the suit In the regular supermarket Walmart, Target They got all of that stuff When you go to The um To the section They got a lot of new stuff And like a lot of different brands Doing it too So I think I think I'm gonna start trying Different ones Another place uh, Another good place to go Is Fairway I don't know if they have that Everywhere But Fairway they have a lot of organic products, period.
nitric oxide powder from GMO. <laughs> Walker said it sounds like the new prune juice. <laughs> I know it. It sound like it sound like something. It sound like the new wave of a drink. Yep, it surely does. Some of those brands that major markets they say organic just use that to boost the price. Yep, you right about that. When I want like real juice, I go to the juice bar where they actually do it. Like they, they got fruits and vegetables in their, um, what, what do you call the thing? I guess it's like the refrigerator counter thing, but they got mad fruits and veggies, fresh. And you just, you, you tell them what you want and they put it together and you can juice it or you can make a, um, a smoothie. You do that as organic. Because they're using organic um, fruits and veggies. I know, like, like the spots I go to, is they, they really get organic fruits and veggies for real. Like from the farmer's market. Uh, Mix it is for circulation, blood flow, natural source of caffeine, and energy. Okay. Caffeine is interesting because it has benefits and it also has um, detriments. But they don't know or can't establish. Um, come on, bro. Yo. See, this type of shit I be talking about. You doing all of that and you gotta bang my shit? Yep, that's how fast somebody get their ass whipped out here. He apologized and all that, but yo, it's the principle. <laughs> I know y'all was like, yo, what the hell just happened to Mark? <laughs> Yo, you understand? I be I, I do a lot, man, to keep my cool. I do. I do a lot. Like I, you know, like like if somebody does something and they apologize for it, that's the difference between them getting fucked up and not getting fucked up. I'm just saying, like. You do something and you blatantly do it and you know, you like whatever, you get fucked up behind that. I'm just saying, and that, that you, that's just in general, like that's not even just me. That's a general rule. For every action, there's a reaction. You can't just be disrespectful and think that that's okay. Can't do that. But anyway, let me let me woo side. <laughs> let me woo side my shit. Damn, I forgot the hell he's talking about. Oh, he's talking about caffeine, right?
<laughs> Matthew says sleep does that for me. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but I hate I can't stand when people do that. Like you I'm at a hydrant. Like I'm parked at a hydrant. Get out of here. Go up there. Go somewhere else. You got a post up next to me. I'm in the car, lights on, at a hydrant. And you just got to be close to my shit. Like, come on, man. Get out of here. And I could tell, I could tell when somebody going to come close. I'll be looking at them. I'm like, yo, you, you too close. Then they'll swing their stupid door open. Just little shit, man. That's annoying. <laughs> and I, like, yo, what's so crazy is that stuff happens so fast, I literally forgot completely about this. I Like, it just was instant. It was, it was just pure reaction. I'm telling you, man. Now you see what I'm talking about. So imagine the type of shit that you would be doing in the market. Now you see why people be, you see why people be losing in the market. They want to, they react without thinking sometimes. But yeah, but I mean that that's one thing that I try not to do. I don't. I try to think first, and then I lay it out, and then I then I react. But by the time I'm ready to move, I already have laid it out of my head as far as how it, how it is likely to go. Yep. But anyway. <laughs> oh, snap. I got to always, rem I got to remember that. Turn this shit off if I'm about to. If I'm about to get engaged. <laughs> I gotta remember that shit. Damn. What you know about that? See, and then you gotta bring it down. Like, you gotta do shit to bring your energy back. What's this right here? Come on, where's the music at? There we go. What kind of music is this? Is that considered classical? That's like classical music, right? That just sound like like a harp player in a movie. Let me see what else is on here. Yeah, they make house music out of any song. Sound like Usher. Sometimes music be all sounding the same too. Some of the new music anyway. Alright, so anyway. <coughs> and what time is this? Oh, it's only five o'clock. It seems like it's mad later than it is. But anyway, all right, y'all. Let me get out of here. I'm gonna be on. I'm, I guess I'll be at Starbucks in a little while. I thought I would probably be finished by now, but I'm still here waiting, 
waiting around for shit. King Smart, I'm about to get off, but what's good? So I'm gonna check y'all on um, the, the recap on Facebook in a little while. I'll let y'all know in the group, all right? Deuces. <laughs>